It's me, Eric, and I'm making a game. The game is called The God Killer. It's a top-down 3D puzzler uh, written in Unity with lots of C-sharp and uh, lots of uh, modeling, 3D modeling, not fashion modeling, and uh, general asset design. I'm kind of just doing the indie wearing all hats thing and working on different parts of the project. And uh, let me go over my schedule real quick. Uh, Monday through Thursday, about this time that you are watching right now, I'll be online in the evening. The evening for me, maybe not for you. That's uh, 6 p.m. ish, Pacific Standard Time. And I usually go to about 8. I usually go for a couple of hours. Sometimes I do it a little bit different. But that's mainly when I'm going to be around. And I welcome people to join in. I uh, take lots of tangents if you have some burning question about something just even sort of kind of related to what I'm doing. could be even more about your life. I'll, I, I'll indulge things like that. If you're an aspiring uh, programmer, student of programming, making games, uh, I, I'm pretty, uh, pretty loose. I, I can take a little break and talk. Or we can talk about what I'm doing. That's also cool. Um, and then... If you're not into the live coding sessions, which is, that's what this is, um, on Sundays about 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, I still work on the game, but I switch to art or game design task or level design tasks, uh, something that's not just programming because it's not everybody's cup of tea. That's cool. Um, so, let me show you where I'm at. I like to start off with a little demo before I get into the coding and uh, I spared everyone the thing where you have to wait while I hit the play button on Unity I just have it up and going right now so what I accomplished last night was to get these uh, explosion animations hooked up let me see if I can kill this guy one time Oh, I'll just kill myself. That'll do it. So those, those blue squares that uh, moved around, that was what I, I got going yesterday. And uh, depending on how the person dies and how what way they're facing, the explosion will be depict, depicted different ways. Uh, so there's some for, like, if you land on top of the spikes, here, I'll go dive on top of them by going up the steps so you can see that. Well, first I'll just land on top of this guy. So that's this is one type of explosion. That one I've got the duration set really long for some reason. But it's a nice thing that I've got a fair amount of control over these explosions. Uh, I actually have a lot of control, even more than, than usual because... I'm not using the Unity built-in particle explosion generator thing. I just wrote my own. Um, which some people would say, how self-indulgent of you to write your very own. But I just thought, I just want to control this a little bit better. And I felt like um, because this area that the explosions are inside of is so small and because the explosions have this duty to explain how things died I wanted extra control over it um, and also I just think like the particles I can make are going to be more interesting um, but I did learn that some of the things I was trying to do just don't look very good from the view of this game so this is the explosion when you're up close to it so I started out making the explosion like look as close as possible with with uh, with these blocks to the original shape humanoid shape so you can kind of see like there's an arm here and there's a head up here and then I found out it looked better if some of the blocks were, were much bigger so here when I'm, I'm really close 
to all this all of this geometry um, it looks like this blocky creature has some bad form of elephantitis but it, it actually looks better when the blocks are bigger because from my camera viewpoint I'm up about that high and then all these explosion particles go off in different directions so I'll show you a little bit of that um, I have a slider here that lets me kind of go back and forth in between the, the two states a problem I have is that in order for me to use this slider all the little blocks have to be selected which kind of uh, makes the end result hard to see so is there a way to just turn that off just maybe temporarily there is I remember to turn it back on now if I can just turn off this uh, I think that's it's pro builder let's see if I can turn that off I'm not going to worry about it too much PB poly shape? No. PB something. B0? Nope. Any other PB stuff down here? I don't see that. These are built in components. No, I, I guess now I think about it, this this thing is built into Unity. It's not a. I, yeah, I get confused between what's Pro Builder and what's Unity. Um, so actually some of these seen anything that jumped out at me and said yeah that's the one you want to disable I'm just kind of playing around a little bit see if I can you know what forget it. that's a tangent and at least I at least got the uh, selections turned off okay so I have like these different animations and from way up here you just can't see that much about them So it makes sense to not try to accomplish something subtle with it. Um, the other thing that, that's totally missing is the 3D-ness of it. So I had thought that by using all these, these meshes instead of like 2D particles that I would get a really cool effect. From here it looks neat. It looks really neat when you're up close. But up above they might as well be 2D particles. So that that aspect of it is uh, it's it's kind of lost. Um, this is what I'm talking about as far as having a lot of control. So I have all the starting positions of the particles set. And I have a script that calculates the end state of of any any uh, given particle in this collection and it's done one time one time when the object is instanced and that explosion instance is put into a pool of reusable pool objects so I don't continuously calculate particle um, destinations I do um, it's called a lerp which is I have two points the, the beginning and the end point and I say give me the point that is between those two points by a certain ratio and that ratio is between zero if I'm all the way here to the left and hundred percent so for any of these particles if I'm at zero percent it's going to start at its starting location and if I'm at hundred percent with the ratio 
um, it'll be uh, not only at its ending location but I also have like a, a scale factor on each particle that goes down to zero so it just disappears so at 100 it scales to nothing and it moves to its final position I can get it back and forth as many times as I want cheaply not much calculation there uh, definitely no object reinstancing which is expensive and bad bad for performance uh, da, da, da. but now I'm thinking now I'm thinking what do I want to do to make this clearer and more interesting looking and I had this thought while I was walking back from work that the 3D-ness of these meshes is lost when I'm at this, this pretty high viewpoint I mean it's kinda there but I might as well just make them flat 2D particles in the exact kind of depiction that I want I can go into Photoshop and give them like uh, specific colors and transparencies and be very direct about it um, so I think I'm going to give that a shot. It might be the wrong move, but I feel it's a worthwhile experiment. The other thing that I can do is uh, give the edges of these particles a, uh, a darker color, and that will mean that when the explosions occur over a light area, they'll still be highly visible. Right now the explosions look a lot better over a dark area because of their coloring. Then I go over a light area and, and I don't know, they're kind of faded out. Not nearly as pronounced. So I'm going to bring up the shop. The old Photoshop. And I'll start out with just a a test particle. I don't need it to be anything impressive. I don't need to tinker with it yet. I just want something to begin with. Okay. And it might be kind of neat to have rounded rounded uh, corners, so I'm going to do that. Um, and I'll keep that same blue color for the time being. I'll leave a little space on the edges because I've got an idea that I'll, I can create a, a glow effect that'll look good. Maybe all this will look like ass, but again, I, I just want I You hear me like talking already about refinements. I can't help it. I can't help it. I, I, I get a little bit excited. So, okay, let's, let's try to make it kind of neat. It won't take me that long to just try a few things out. Um, put a little glow on the outside of it. I can do that. That's not hard. Okay, so the glow extends to the edge. The interior, um, let's give it a little bit of a shadow. That might look neat. I, I, I can try that. That seems potentially cool. Um, and then the other thing is, is making this middle part translucent. Uh, So let's delete that background. And now, at least these pixels are fully transparent. Um, let's make the middle thing. Fifty percent? Fifty? Yeah, fifty percent could be good. All right. So I'm gonna start with that.
PNG. Blue Death Oracle. Then when I come back into Unity, it will import the asset. Sometimes it takes just a little bit for it to see it. Uh, materials. Oh, it's already here. Good. So. And here I'm, I'm out of my, my comfort zone. All the stuff about textures and materials, I'm admittedly not that great at. Um, but I, I don't have to. I don't have to think too hard about it yet. Let me just create a new object. Plane. This is what Pro Builder is good for, this kind of thing. So one, 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 one. Build it and then change its texture. No, you're not going to let me apply it there like that? Okay, that's fine. figure out how to get its uh, alpha channel working. Okay, I think that's basically it right there. see a few issues with it but I don't know that's kind of it um, all right so make a new container for these particles. In fact, I can just I can just uh Gonna move this down here. Oh, I see one issue I have. Uh, gotta size it, and not with scale because I'm depending on the scale being set at a hundred percent when. Kind of annoyed that at the simplest setting, Pro Builder added this extra set of ver vertexes here. I really just want a rectangle without that. So maybe I can I can get rid of that. Okay, what about that and that and then 
delete that, and then delete that, and then change. I'm trying to remember where the settings were to, to remap this texture. Um, I just want to resize this so it'll show up correctly. Just do stretch. Eh. Do stretch. there's a, a better way to do this like I'm making this more complicated than I need to but that's all right so now I want to see that if I change its dimensions if it will stretch with it it does good that was key that was key all right <laughs> no don't do anything weird like that uh, so in one direction, it does that kind of stretch, which I like. And in a different direction, it does this kind of silly stretch, which I don't like very much. Um, that's okay. That's okay. So let's make a number of particles. medium particle okay. then I'm gonna move it off over here and now just delete all the rest of the bits that are currently inside So there's one particle that's remaining here, and that one is, the particle I found was a good indicator of uh, the center. And what I can do is in a bit, you know, in a while, after I get a particle that's good to replace it with, I'll delete that and put a different one there and name it center. That, that name tells the algorithm where the center of the explosion should be. Okay, so let's duplicate this and make some different particles I can use.
call this one a small particle. And just like I was thinking before, I'll replace, yeah, I'll replace center with this other particle. Center is defined. Uh, I think I'll just make a big particle. I also I, I changed the setting on OBS, which is the broadcasting software with the idea that it might free up more CPU for my machine here. Um, and I gotta say the performance I've had does seem to be improved. It might be that the video encoding is now suffering. That's always a possibility. So I may want to preview that a little bit later. Uh, kind of curious if I can tint this. I probably can if I pick a different shade here. Let's see what's under sprites. Yeah. Okay, but I'll have to pick uh, I'll have to set up some different materials. Uh, otherwise, it's gonna it's gonna look pretty assy, pretty friggin' assy. Uh, before I get going on this, let me turn off some stuff. There's an argument that I might want to have it cast shadows. That could look kind of cool. Yeah. some variations on this material so I can get a variety of colors. I, in my experimentation I found that that was actually pretty valuable. Uh, so let's go with tinting it some different ways. We'll go uh, a little bit like that. I don't like how it's how it's tinting the the glow part of it. That part looks kind of not good. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. So, that. make some variations because basically I want to just create like a number of uh, a number of particles to use as, as a starting of, of uh, starting building blocks of the explosion
And from if I just kind of use that to begin with, I can throw an explosion together really quickly and save all the tweaking for a second pass. Uh, I like how these, these things I just sort of made quickly look. And once in a while I get a really neat effect without doing much. They, they look kind of like little green pillows, little translucent green pillows. Uh, different colors. curious huh that's neat looking too <laughs> I wasn't gonna use that for this but let me just look at that so I could set a whole friggin block this has nothing to do with the part of the explosion right now it's just what if I took a larger block and, and put that transparent texture on it. That's what it would be. It looks kind of neat. I'm going to have to remember that. I might use that for something else later. Maybe not that exact same texture. Um, but a similar kind of effect might be neat. set it it seems a little bit hard to get it back to where it was whatever 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 let's do something like that then we get back to wonderful explosion I'm going to create. Uh, centerpiece is still there. like that.
All right, let's modify some of these so they're not so samey looking. Hmm. Just hard to predict when it's going to retexture in a way that is helpful to me. There, it's not being helpful. Although, if I let go and just let it kind of recalculate after a while, it might fix up on its own. Or it might continue looking stupid. I'm not sure yet. I've seen a thing with Pro Builder where the textures first look screwed up and then after a bit it fixes them. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's going to. That's fine. I'm not even sure if that would have made it look better anyways. You could call that sour grapes if you want. Probably would have looked ugly anyways. I don't want it. Okay. Move that a little tighter. Trying to get the initial explosion so that it's mostly in the bounds of uh, uh, of, of one meter by meter by meter cube. I picked a texture here that's not easy to see that with, so let's fix that. There. Oh. See, I have so much space for this explosion, and I'm not using it. Okay. Oh. That's a new wrinkle. Like in some cases, I would love that behavior. In some cases, that would be perfect. Like I might have been better off if, for once, I didn't use Pro Builder to model that. I could have, could have just used like the Unity plane. I think Unity lets you. God, it's been so long that I made something with just Unity. Three um, D object plane. Okay, I can I can go back to that if I want. Quad, no, that's that's like uh, it's something else. All right, before I fiddle with that, let me let me just just do some some quick stuff with this and get a first pass look. Just seems like it's going to be too simple. All right, well, let's verify that. Okay, so let's go to M's. No, no, don't do that. Not the M's. Go to the exploders. Save the current one I have, which is so far the best one. Call it. Uh, stupid blue number two.
Okay. Then just drag the brawler exploder over here. Replace it. Original prefab. Let's make a new original prefab. Or let's no, let's just okay. Now I'll try it out. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Good chance of failure. Huh. Well it worked. I was right, it's kind of too simple. Um But that's easily remedied. Just want to get a little more information about that. Let me play that again. There's some bug in the respawn where when I die, I don't come back out of the egg sometimes. Um, and that's making me have to do this respawning. I mean, uh, restarting. stuck in the egg there. So, a few things I'm noticing. My big particles aren't that big. I had an idea they were really big, but they're not that big. more particles and they should be bigger and also I might as well use the unity quad um, not quad uh, use a unity primitive instead of pro builder for this particular task because then it won't try to do its clever stuff about changing the, the texture there's probably some way within pro builder to set the texture to work like how I want um, I don't know. I, I'll just try real quick with a plane. Really? It's just... Huh. That's what it does. You know, it's it's a kind of a silly thing on streams, particularly when nobody's even listening to you, to feel compelled to announce things confidently about what you're going to do and what you've learned. I kind of see why a lot of these people that do live coding streams are just kind of quiet and keep their mouth shut. Um, because you really can look like an idiot, always announcing what you're going to do and why. Better to just achieve the result and then just kind of look on smugly. Um, but... I don't know. If I've not come to peace with my, my streaming style at this point. Um, 
I know it's not that important. I know it's not that important, the whole streaming thing. I'm mainly trying to make this game. But there is something in me, I think, that started with the podcasting days when I did a podcast to see if I can just get this thing down of talking on the fly, kind of generating content from your mind right on the spot without a script and I never really did that with podcasting that might be what's compelling me to, to do these streams if I'm honest with myself but the main thing is not streaming the main thing is getting this friggin game done uh, so let me let me focus on that for a little bit um, I know there's some other options for materials So that just gives me texture selection. What other stuff they got? The UV editor had had some options. over the inspector options as well. Okay. Well, let's just make it much more particles. In fact, I could just select all of them. Get rid of the center one. Duplicate. And shift them a little. Ah. That's all it is. Okay, I had like the wrong selector on Pro Builder. I was selecting the face. Okay, so this should be a lot easier. Let me, let me mix these up a little bit. Not that one. Not that one.
Yeah, let's get rid of that one. Looks ugly. Just make one, just one of these at least, it's like super big, super big, super big, and then you're not gonna. Uh, I don't understand it. What are the rules? What are the rules for when you will fit inside the square in an orderly way? I could generate these two. I have this conceit that the, my initial placement is somehow going to be extra artistic or uh, interesting. And I think that's looking less and less likely as I play with this. The initial placement is going to be anything, anything that matters at all, other than like if it's too orderly, <clears throat> if it doesn't look kind of messed up enough, then it won't it won't look good overall, perhaps. Okay. See what that looks like. So I more or less doubled the count of uh, particles. It starts. It starts to look okay. It starts to. Now there's a question. Do I want to add some kind of collision detection? It doesn't it doesn't blow me away I'm not like totally enamored with it yet question is am I am I close enough to good not that's not quite what I mean am I on the path with refinement to make an effect that I'll be very happy with or am I going to be polishing a turd if the basic idea is 
is not good. That's that's why I'm spending a fair amount of time just staring at this thing. Because it's actually, it's not me being self-indulgent about watching the thing I just made. It's me saying, am I on the right path? Do I want to keep using this particular effect and just making it a little bit better? So things I, I could do to improve upon it. Um, I could brighten it up a bit by just by editing the texture. Um, that's a pretty easy change, just changing the particle. I can see the effects of that pretty pretty quickly. I also feel like I could use a few more really big particles in there because they look interesting. Um, they're kind of different from like the usual particle effects you see. There's some logical issues um, where like depending on the direction that the guy moves, the particles are supposed to go a certain way. <clears throat> There's a few places where it's going the wrong way. Not worried about that right now. That's pretty easy to fix. There's a question of whether or not I want to allow the particles to go through the walls. Well, let's start by by uh, modifying the the texture that's used for the particle. So I'll come back to here, and it looks a little dark to me. Um, I could brighten it up in uh, some different ways. Can increase the opacity. What do I have it at now? Fifty percent. Okay, let's try seventy percent. I want to save this as a separate texture so that I can uh, make comparisons to old and new along the way. Blue death particle, 70 opaque, opacity. Okay, so that's one. Um, I can set the color. I can set the color to be brighter. Death particle brighter. Okay. So come back and see what that looks like.
Hmm. I think like the easiest thing for changing these might be just to save the the texture file again. baseline okay, and then this guy I'm going to delete That's an easy way to have it pick up. It did. It worked just like I hoped. All right, so let's just see if that looks better. It's a little bit underwhelming to me. I mean, it's not embarrassing or anything, but I'm just not excited when I see it. Part of it might be that it's just it's so small. That might be like a reason why I'm not that excited about it. It's just happening in such a small size. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm, I'm probably going to have to think about this one a little bit. So the rule is stupid. The rule is stupid is that when something is kind of underwhelming, instead of looking for subtle improvements to it, you make a stupid version of it and see if you like it better. Who came up with this? I did. It's my rule of stupid.
Ooh, stupid. Make it stupid. Make it stupid. Make it stupid. We gotta see the stupid version to learn. To learn. To learn what the potential is. Make it stupid. How stupid can it be? Should there be some limitation on how stupid I make it? I mean, if I made a particle that filled up the entire screen, that would be maximum stupidity. That would, that would be too stupid. Okay, there has, there has to be some constraints. But... I am likely to be too conservative with the first thing I tried out. Jesus. Alright, that. And then, uh, what other stupid things could I do? There needs to be more particles, I know that much. I, mean, I don't want to just create an entire garbage pile of nonsense. I don't want to, like, make a GeoCities web page. But. Yeah, I gotta go bigger. That's true. That's true. I do have to go bigger here. Because right, right now it's just... It's just so underwhelming. so stupid that I split the texture in half. Okay. I do have quite a bit more space down here. Uh, let me just select a bunch of this junk. I can't even tell what I'm selecting anymore. Uh, move you down there. This will be really stupid. No? Huh, wait a minute. 
wait a minute. I didn't think about that. I, I could go this direction too. What does that even look like? Now I'm curious. Some say I'm out of control. Some say I've been given too much power and uh, it's time to, to bring me back home, but I don't know. I guess I, I've lost the perspective. You know, I've been alone with myself, with my own crazy ideas for so long. It's just hard to tell anymore if uh, the things I do are reasonable or are going to get someone killed. It's just hard to tell. Uh, all right, so let's now see. Now I have just like a, a a tinge of excitement. This might actually be something good. It could be something terrible. It could be a three-year-old's crayon drawing. And don't don't kid yourself. Three-year-olds make terrible drawings really bad, shitty drawings. Okay. Huh. I thought it was going to look bad, and it, it looks fine. Kind of good. I haven't made peace with the particles going to the wall. And that will take a fair amount to get them to stop. So one thing is that even though I've got them rotated at 90 degrees, that's really just a way to vary the, what the particles look like. They're just making small looking particles. They're a single line or tend to look like a single line. I don't know. It's all right. There'd be no reason for me to redo the particles to make them non-rotated in order to uh, achieve the exact same effect. probably do with more particles still. I know something that would look good. Basically, what I would call <coughs> accent particles. It's like you create some particles that look a fair amount different than the other ones. I mean, like it could be bright white particles. That's what I'm thinking. Bright white particles. They could be circular mixed in with all the square stuff, maybe.
Okay. You know, I, I think I think the basic idea of this is good. The bones of it are just fine. Um, just need some more refinements. Also, I think I can make those particles stop without doing um, without doing like a, a full collision check with each particle. I can make like a very cheap version of that collision check. I could say at the time that the explosion was produced, I would calculate the, the bounding box that the explosion should stay inside. Huh. Yeah, more complex shapes that wouldn't work for. Then eventually I end up rewriting a full collision check thing. I mean, I, I could just do checks on all the colliders. See how it looks over in the light colored part. Yeah, it looks fine. In both areas it looks fine. So that, that part I, I definitely improved upon. The original was not looking good on the light area. And I couldn't just fix it by making it dark because then it would look bad on the dark area so this outline system works much better What am I doing next? Possible to hypnotize myself with all these explosions and uh, though it could use more particles, not a lot more. I'm I'm approaching a spot where it looks pretty good. You know what? 
even the number of particles might be fine. It might be more their placement. Okay, let me just add a few more particles and I'll, I'll try to balance out the placement a little bit. Uh, Oh yeah, in the highlight particles or the uh, the accent particles, I want those too. try the brightest one I just forgot about that uh, I feel I feel like that's not gonna be the best option though I just got a sense it won't be so let me let me just move on to the the accent particle make this one 40 by 40. make bright white Okay. Uh, 
let's make an accent. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to uh, save this without the background. getting somewhere here. It's too big. I'll make it smaller. Make it tiny. Make it little. Doesn't need to be large. Okay, that, that might be that might be what I want right there. get some variety here. If I just duplicate these a whole bunch of times,
So I'm just trying to randomize them a little bit. Um, it is kind of ironic that... Not ironic. I'm misusing the word ironic all the time. Is that ironic to misuse the word? No, it's, that's not ironic. Uh, it is odd that I started out trying to make a, a, a better explosion by planning out all the particles and then I ended up randomizing them to get the better explosion. No, that is ironic. Having the opposite of the original intent. Alright. One of these days I'll feel very confident in my use of the word ironic. Oh, what happened? There's two of these guys now? I think I copied a whole bunch of stuff here. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm gonna take this one and just hide it and see what things look like. Okay, that takes away a whole bunch of stuff that was important. Uh, what about if I hide the other one? That's going to hide all the accents, right? <laughs> if I combine the two, that'll be fucked up in its own way. So what's the easiest way to make sure I get everything I want? I've probably just copy the accents over. Or, or move them over. Let's try moving these guys over to the to the other guy. Oh, I do see like a bunch of plus particles in this one that are probably what I need to add to the other one. Yeah. Okay. So if I go here. Oh, thank you. Everything that I added to the second one, I will add to the first one. And then, possibly I'll have what I want. <laughs> I have to do this stupid way. I just have to. Okay. So then, if I hide the bottom one. Jesus! What am I even looking at? Uh, I'm just going to delete this guy. Whatever I have to do, I'll do it on this on this first one and just call it good. Oh, there's a lot to do all of a sudden. Okay. Oh yeah, this one didn't have all the kind of reversed around particles. Okay, I get to do that again. Maybe I'll do it better this time. Okay, did you add it to the right exploder? You did, good. Now I'm doubting what I was looking at before. It's kind of hard to say what what version that I was enjoying previously what that was. 
Did it include the the vertically flipped stuff? I thought it did. It seemed a lot better when I looked at it. It was missing this one is missing some stupidity. I can I can tell you that. And stupidity is important. People don't understand the importance, the value of stupidity. You gotta make it stupid. You gotta make it stupid. We're we're not gonna be happy. Need a little stupid in your life. just had a cool idea. I just had a cool idea. I could make I could make these things have really wide glows. Eh, I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. First I have to see what, what, the, what it looks like before I mess with it at that level. Somebody texting me. I don't want to talk to them. I'm busy. Okay. So here I am creating what I hope will be a very good explosion. Just test it out a little bit. If I just go do it the old way. Oh, I forget I gotta Yeah, I can I can kinda see that. So here's the one where it slams against the wall. Not bad. Okay, so now it's time to make it stupid. Time to make it stupid. <sighs> Just take all of these, duplicate them, turn them friggin' 90 degrees. back together. And now, what kind of stupidity do we have? What is it going to be?
So I'll try that out. So I feel like I made so many changes there that I've got no idea. I've got no idea now what it's going to look like. And I, before I make any, any more changes, I just got to get my head around what I already did. I didn't like that. I got done updating the prefab and there's this little adjustment that it made where it moved one of my particles. All right, I won't freak out about it, but I didn't like it. Okay, so let's kill some people and see the explosion. Oh, it does not look bad at all. I'd say that looks better. It's starting to get a little bit crazy. Like almost too much. That's probably like the good place for it to be. Like if I have more particles, it's just going to look like a geyser. I like the accents. Although I am going to pursue that one other idea I had, I think. Yeah, I'm liking it. I mean, I know I should be harder on myself, but I'd say, no, it's shit. It's not good yet. I know I should do that to get the best out of myself, apparently, but um, if I'm honest, I kind of like it. Kind of like it. Kind of happy. It feels like something, yeah. I think I might even be able to live with it going through the walls. Because it's such a kind of a technical effect, like it's uh, it's not like blood. Could I easily try doing the explosion so the direction is the same as you're facing? Uh, yeah, let's think about that. So. There are a few places where it's not really doing it what I want it to do, which is, um, see, so, so here I got killed by, by this guy that was moving east onto me, like the same direction as your punch, right? Um, let me see if I can set it up so that we're both talking about the same thing. So if I go south, then I think I think what you're saying is that if I if I punch this guy south, then ideally the explosion would just be in the same direction as the punch. And what it's instead doing is this thing like it goes off to the sides. And the, the reasoning of that is that um, it's like I smashed him up against a wall or something, and he kind of flattened out. Uh, there's one other place which might also be what you're talking about. So here the guy's going to walk on the spikes. Explosion will go in the direction he moved. I'm trying to get set up for the case which I know is totally wrong. Uh, okay, here it is. So if I punch north, this guy's they're both going to go flying up north. And the, the explosion will go the opposite way that I want it to. It's a bug. It's going like back towards me. That one, if you were talking about that one, then I'm in total agreement with you that it should it should go in that same direction. This one, if I where I go down south, and I'm trying to smash them against the wall. I think it's better for it to go left and right. Oh, here I'll show it to you again. So I'm going to go north. 
uh, I'm pointing at the screen with my finger. That's dumb. Okay, I'm going to go north and hit this guy. And then he'll go up against here. And then I want, like what you were saying, I want the particles to go in the same direction as the punch for that. But instead, they'll fly back towards me. Which is a bug. Ah, okay. So you and I are on the same page then. There's basically, we, we're aware of the same bug. And it looks wrong. Um, yeah. Sorry, I meant I was or wasn't referring to the bug. Now I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but you are inspiring to inspiring me to uh, fix that one bug, so I think I'll do that. It's kind of a bad thing to wait too long to fix bugs, because then, then you forget like uh, the details of of the code. It takes longer. different effects for different ways of dying. It was punctured effect. Okay, so I think we need direction uh, from di movement direction. And I won't use this get facing direction. Instead, I'll use the movement direction. be the easy part. Uh, well, let's do one other thing. Okay. 
Now I know that causes a problem. If I can just build to find it. Yep. So every place that I'm creating this, I need to pass the direction. So this will be. Something touches it. Yeah, this is hard. It's of all these places where something touches the spikes and I don't actually have the information about which direction they were moving in the code that calls this effect. thing I could do. I could say I could say that I'll use the direction it was facing unless a direction is passed. Because that was working for most everything. Um, so if movement direction is none, figure out the movement direction for all those places that puncture gets called. And we'll say uh, let's see piece effect utility get facing direction.
Now what do I? All right. So it'll use the direction that the thing was facing, unless I pass something that overrides it. go back to all the places where I'm doing piece punctured effect. Uh, let's take this out, this code. Occupy square, that's the one that it uses for the fling. Okay, so it's just those two places though. It's just those two places. Let me see what it calls Occupy square. four locations. So this one, I've got all the information I need for the direction. What about the other ones? That one, no, not really. Oh, so there's three places, okay. So, let's get the direction of movement. Delta two direction. Got to make a new utility method here. That's fine.
providing a little warning to myself. I think I can make this one also a little more robust and symmetrical. convince me to, to fix this bug right now because it would have been a lot harder to fix it fix it later on does that. It gave me an error in the in the compilation of the build that didn't really tell me anything useful to fix it. So I know from experience that if I just first I'll try cleaning. If I exit the IDE and come back in it it'll it'll work, but let me try this easier thing first. Do the thing that worked last time. Oh, let me, let me just try stopping the debugger first. Oh man, it's friggin' 803. I'm just gonna I'm gonna try this out and either get it working or get it close to working. Or or work a little bit and get it working. I want I want to see it working before I end the session. I I think I'm willing to stop the session without it, but I won't be happy.
weird. Walked onto it. Now it's it's reversed somehow, which is not right. And that time it worked. Okay, what happens here? Ah, it's still a mess. So to make this go faster, uh, I'll just set up the exact case I want to test. <clears throat> over here let him smash against that okay and then just get rid of some of these guys because otherwise it's kind of too chaotic Okay, so I want to see this guy walk onto this and have the particles go west. Then I want to see this guy get pushed across here and have the particles go north. And I know there's bugs, so I know it's not going to work right away. Here's the first one. Uh, what do I think the movement direction is? I think the movement direction is where it should be. Well, first off, is this the top one or is, is it the? Uh, it's no. It, this is the puncture effect, so it would be the one to the east. I think movement direction is west. It's west. No, it's coming up east. So, a mistake was made earlier. Could have been in my new code. Check all this. West, east, north, south. Oh, yeah, that's wrong there. Wouldn't affect this particular bug, but it is a bug. 
it's some kind of bug. Okay. That, that seems like that's okay. Oh, I know I messed up somewhere. Because uh, instead of the direction being west, it's east. So let me just plow through this. I know it screwed up, and I'll start it over again. DC zero, DR one, DH zero. Okay, so that's that's the top guy. Yeah, that's the north guy moving south. I want the other guy. DC is one, zero. Okay, that doesn't seem right. Oh, do I have these reversed? So if C is 35 and call is 36. Oh. Maybe I just assumed I was facing north. And I'm not facing north. Is that true? I don't know. There's too much going on here. I gotta... Even just having those two guys there is getting too confusing for me. So let me... Okay, that actually worked. That actually worked. I think I, I'm pointing south. And I thought I was pointing north. So if that's true, then let's see which 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 piece is this? Is this the player? No, it's a brawler. So if I'm facing south, then I expect the brawler is traveling north. No. It's too confusing. It's too confusing. I'll be doing too many translations in my head this way. I need to simplify. Come on. Come on. That, that was definitely the wrong direction. Okay, so undo that. Let's just do one of these guys at a time and let's get north correct. North is which direction? Prefab, rails. Okay, I was facing north. No. Yes? Yes, okay. That's north. Okay. And I'm really confused. But it's alright. It's alright. Now I've simplified it. There's going to be this guy. And I, I can just do the check again. Okay. 
right, so this is the player. That's the player. I don't understand why DR is one, though. I don't understand that. Uh, that's, that's really confusing me. So if R is 13, you know, expect row, which is the destination. Wait a minute. No, R is where I'm going to. Row is where I'm at now. So R is 14. I'm going to 15. No, 13. 14 to 13. Do I have them reversed? Oh, I just got them reversed. Okay. Easy way to fix that. That's move to and this can be flipped. Or oh, well these are all ABSs. So I yeah, I can't even do that. I can't because they'll always be pointing in one direction. Okay, so let's just do it the right way. Do call mice. C minus call. Now I understand. Now I understand. R minus row. H minus height. Okay, so that should be fine. Figure out where else I'm calling this. Because push looked like it was messed up too. No, that's fine. Uh, no, this might be it. This might be it. It's always a bad idea to rebuild the debugger while it's playing. That's a good way to crash it. Yay! Thor! I don't know if you're still there. I don't know if you're still there. I fixed it though. Alright. Victory! And whenever I'm victorious, that's a good time to stop the stream. Especially if it's after 8 o'clock. So that's what I'm going to do. And just to warn somebody, I'm probably going to keep going on the explosions tomorrow too because I'm fairly obsessed 
with gay them to look not triple A, but maybe double A. I want double A quality explosions. Double A. All right. Gonna shut this stream down. It's the end of streaming days.